Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be tie dyeing some socks and here's what you'll need for today's project. A bowl of water, tie dye kit, some gloves, and socks of course. So I laid mine out like this on a piece of uh, cardboard or paper and the top row I'm basically going to put into the water first before dyeing and then the bottom row I'm just going to leave dry and we'll see what the results look like at the end of the video. So the tie-dye kit that I'm using is called Tulip and these are the colors that I'm going to be using. Pink, yellow, and blue. I also had another um, extra bottle from a different project which is a purple color which I'll be using up for this project. And the kit also comes with rubber bands. You can basically use any rubber bands for the project and this will help you get the designs on your actual sock so you don't really need um, rubber bands for this project. So the first thing that you want to do is basically put your sock into the water and make sure you wring your sock out all the way. Now you want to do this for every single sock that you're going to do as the wet method I guess you could say. So I'm going to speed it up a bit so you're not watching me do this for all the socks. I will also say that I'm using Adidas and Nike socks for this project. Now what you want to do is you want to take your rubber bands and do a whole bunch of designs with it. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description below on some of the designs that you could do for um, the socks. So for this one I decided to do um, two separate rubber bands at the top to see if they would make any separations in the dye. So it kind of looks um, something like this. Then I'm going to speed it up again for the rest of the socks. So for this one I'm doing a spiral um, design did them separately for each sock. The third sock I just kind of scrambled up and put rubber bands randomly on the pair. And then the third one I did on the spiral again. Perfect. Now you basically want to take your dye and um, have fun with it. The nice thing about tie dye is it doesn't need to be perfect and it doesn't need to be symmetrical. So don't worry about it making any mistakes. So for this one, uh, for the spiral design, generally what you want to do is uh, wet the whole sock for each corner that you have and then make sure you do it for both sides as well. So I'm going to show you in a second here. So yeah, normally you do it across from each other and then do the back as I said. that for the rest of the socks here. So let's speed it up a bit. It'll look something like that. Then we want to do the third sock. I just kind of went random with this one and put a whole bunch of colors on it like that. And then the fourth one I also did random colors as well. So once that's all done, you want to put those aside and, let, and just let them be. And we're going to do um, the dry socks now. So for the dry socks, I stacked two socks on top of each other to see what the results were. Kind of like that. And then I found that for the dry ones, it was really difficult to put the dye in. So you have to really pat it in so that the dye will get on there doing a spiral method for this one. I also stacked two socks on top of each other. Like that. And then the third one, I also did the same one as my very first one with the two lines. And then the last one, um, I did a spiral design, which is actually my favorite tie-dye design. And I just did blue and yellow, which make a nice kind of greenish color as well. So remember. 
remember your primary colors they change right so um, and then i just basically went over with the leftover dye i had a pair of old shoelaces that um, i wanted to do so i did those looks like that then now you want to bag them up and you want to you know put them out for at least seven hours they look kind of like this i just left them in the living room i left it for about 24 hours so after 24 hours this is what they'll look like <laughs> more saturated for sure um, the next step is to rinse everything out so you want to rinse it until very little dye comes out you want to wring everything out and then the next step is to, once you've done that um, you want to take off the rubber band as you can see my glove actually broke at this point but I left them on and you can have a little preview about what uh, your sock may look like which I was pretty happy with so now I'm gonna do the dry ones so same process rinse them out and then also I did my shoelaces as well so after you've uh, done that you want to move on to putting uh, washing them and putting some liquid detergent in and then I did a very quick cycle so I did a speed wash uh, which is about I believe 20 minutes and only the socks in there and the shoelace and then you want to put them in your dryer with the dryer sheet and then again I did um, a speed dry as well um, about 20 minutes and these are the results so let me explain so these are actually the dry socks so the bottom row that I did um, this is the one that I stacked on top of each other it's pretty cool design pretty symmetrical because they were stacked on top of one another um, so I really like that um, the colors are really nice this one again I did the spiral design I stacked on top of each other it didn't come out symmetrical but I still really like this um, this pair here and then the Adidas socks were um, the least um, vibrant I guess you can say you can't really tell on camera but there's not a lot of color on them. I don't know where the the pink went or the purples. They just kind of came out blue. As you can see, the, the lining has some pink on it, but I don't know where the pink went. Maybe because I didn't wet them before. Um, and then same for this pair as well. Very underwhelming. <laughs> Wasn't uh, too happy with it, but uh, you know, what can you do, right? That's the... That's the um, joys of tie-dye, you just never know what the results are. So now we're going to look at the wet ones. So this is the very first one that I did. I thought I could think it came out pretty well. The colors are very deep. Um, and, uh, you know, comparing it to the other one, I feel like this one's more symmetrical, but, <laughs> you know, again, that's the, that's the uh, benefit of tie-dyeing. It doesn't need to be perfect. Um, so you can see the lines across the top. This is my favorite pair out of um, all eight. Um, very deep colors, very vibrant. And then the Adidas one again, very underwhelming. I don't know if it's the material that Adidas uses, um, but uh, it didn't come out the way that I wanted. And I also put this in the water before the dye. So it must be the material and not the dye or wetting it before um, so I thought that was interesting and then the last one I really like as well um, came out pretty well I liked um, the colors and the combination and um, you know very similar so I think wetting it beforehand makes the colors on the socks a lot more deeper than um, leaving it to um, leaving it as dry let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and tag me on Instagram. Uh, I want to see your designs. Hey, thanks for stopping by on my channel. I would really appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. There's more to see on my blog at www.writtenbyjust.com. Check out the links in the description below and we'll see you in the next one.